Good evening, everyone. And welcome to another evening of evenings. This evening, we'll discuss the evening's news. Hey, hey brother! brother! And welcome, everyone, to another edition of J vs. Ben, where today we are taking on the internet's hardest Marauders Quotes quiz. Which is to say, there will not be multiple choice in today's episode because it'll be the same four choices every time. Yeah, so at the very least, we've got... We, we should at least end the quiz with 25% correct. You, yeah, even if you just guess every single one. Although it feels like I'm just going to throw it out there. James doesn't have that many quotes. That's true. Okay, so how do you feel? How do you feel about the like your ability to really decipher between serious and lupin? They have the most lines. I feel like most of the time, pretty good. It's going to be the stuff in the Shrieking Shack specifically where they're both just sort of like exposition dumping all over the place. That that could be the tricky part. That, yeah, it's yeah. true. It's like, James was my best friend. It's like, like well, anybody uh, else said that. Yeah, probably sure, serious. Sure. Probably serious? Yeah. Lupin seems less likely to brag about such things. Right, yeah. 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 Okay. All right. It sounded like you called it the streaking shack. <laughs> the streaking shack? It is shack. not the streaking shack. Listen, when it's not the streaking shack, it's the streaking shack. Known fact. Okay. okay roll the intro. Hey, we're back up! I'm just kidding. Could you imagine if I just been streaking like right off the edge of the set? That would have been pretty weird. I know, there's a wall like right, right there. Right there? So I wouldn't have made it far. No. In between, just... otherwise, there's there's stuff there's right stuff. there. Yeah, you're kind of trapped over there. I would have been stuck. Yeah. There would have been nowhere to go. Nope. And the rule one of streaking, have somewhere to go. Have somewhere like to go. Like the streaking shack. <laughs> yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Way to bring it back. Full circle. Yeah. All right, guys, in case you're new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Ethan is on the other end of the camera. He's going to be reading us today's 10 standard questions plus an additional five from our quiz masters over on Patreon. Ben and I have to answer. Ben and I will have to answer all the questions completely from memory. And uh, I would normally we can ask for multiple choice if we have no idea, but that's not going to be a problem today because, as we mentioned, there's really just four choices. There's four marauders. Well, I'm liking my odds. <laughs> Question number one. I haven't poisoned that chocolate, you know. Oh, well, I mean, let's go. Let's go. I haven't poisoned. I haven't poisoned that chocolate, comma, you know. What? Man, I mean, I can't believe, I, th I feel like this is sort of a gimme. Okay. Ethan, Ethan's flat read is clearly throwing you off. I'm, I'm reading it as kind of like a question, but it does end in an ellipsis. Oh, you know what? I don't know why I was stalled. I feel like this is fairly evident. Yeah. I, I do feel, okay, okay. You ready? Yeah. Un, deux, trois. Remus. Remus Lupin, Remus indeed. Lupin. Have you guys watched Lupin on uh, Netflix? I have watched like the first episode, I believe. Yeah. Don't even know what you're talking about. Well, it's hilarious you chose to go with a French accent because Lupin is sort of like a Sherlock Holmes-esque character, but based in France. And he is sort of like a like the Robin Hood version of Sherlock, where he is like a criminal but does you know good things more or less. Um, and there's actually a crossover between Lupin and Sherlock Holmes in some books. But net or there's like a there's like a French show on Netflix, and I would recommend just watching it with subtitles, not dubbed, because it doesn't sound great dubbed. But so watch it with the subtitles on. But it is good. It's really cool. Okay, that makes me. He's like better. a master of disguise kind of guy. I watched the dubbed version, and I yeah. feel like the dubbed version. I was like, I was like having greater difficulty getting into it. But maybe I'll just watch the French version. Yeah. yeah. Question number two, or quote number two, I guess. You run around with a werewolf once a month. Okay. You got okay. a pretty easy clue of who it's not in this yeah. question. Pretty easy clue who it's not. I know who it's being spoken to, and I yeah. know what it's in regards to. It's definitely like a bit of a coin flip between the remaining two, though. Um, I think this is it. I think this is it. Yeah. Okay, ready? Okay, One, yeah. two, three. Serious? Is it James? It is James. Oh, oh so goodness but gracious. All, I was like, maybe it's James because there's just not that many James quotes and there needs to be, this would be like the scene where you'd get some from. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Old uh, Jamie Potts himself. Oh, man. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy Potts. Potts. <laughs> Jimmy Potts, as he was known. I like to think that James Potter had like a comic book series that he like, you know, handed out with, yeah. where the main character was Jimmy Potts. Mm. Yeah, I could see that. Jimmy Potts, yeah. Just the, what, what are you writing over there? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing? I'm not drawing my own comic book. I'm illustrating. I'm 
illustrating. Yeah. Yeah, secret artists. Not really dived into much in the books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Less relevant to the overall plot. Yeah. Harry Potter and the Jimmy Potts book. comic books. <laughs> Who is Jimmy Potts? <laughs> he looks just like me. But his eyes. <laughs> they look different. <laughs> Quote number three, and our first Quizmaster quote of the game. This quote is submitted by Sarah Makiyama, Tara Noah, Kristen, and Hannah Gear, and voted on by patrons. Oh, okay. The quote is, the world isn't split into good people and Death Eaters. Ooh. But is oh, it? Hang but on. is it? You're right. This is already a classic episode for Ben noises. But <laughs> I'm just gonna cut, cut to our uh, Instagram for all of the great Ben thinking sounds. <laughs> Here's one minute just, of Ben uh, thinking. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, wait. I think it's different. I think I might have it wrong. Uh, okay. I think I know. Oh, do I? Hold on. This is this is already becoming harder than it I is. I know I'm like this because it's yeah. Is it is it this person or is it that person? Oh man, I'm gonna lose a lot of coin flips today. Oh what, man, now I'm going back. Now I'm going back. <laughs> Who says it? I feel like I know when it is. And based I, on when I think it is, I think I know who it is. I'm going back. That's um, what I'm going with. I almost I, just asked you when you think it was, but then that would be yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, ready? One, two, three. Remus. That's serious. It is serious. No! <laughs> Man, I was like, go with the gut. No, it's serious. Because is, is he talking about Umbridge here? <clears throat> I, I think, think it's, he is. I don't know. It's either Umbridge or it's in the cave. Uh, when he's a dog. I was thinking it might have been during like the Christmas in Half-Blood Prince when he's talking to them at the burrow. We're only, we're only three in? We're only th three in. Three yes. in and I'm already down two? You're already down two. <laughs> oh, this feels this feels <laughs> like a lot more... Um, you know what? It's like Ben's got too much momentum early. Oh, and this know? is not this good is for exactly me. exactly what's happening. This is, this is a football team being up by 17 going into the half. Mm -hmm. It's a exactly. sure Would you, Do you lose. feel like you have a 28 to three lead? Oh yeah, yeah. We're we talking uh, Patriots versus Atlanta Falcons. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Classic yeah. Super Bowl. Quote number four. But the Ministry never knew that there used to be three unregistered anime guy running around Hogwarts. Mm. <laughs> this is again. It's, it's just an obvious coin flip. <laughs> it's oh. almost like there's two of them that talk way more. Yes. It really it's is. It's almost like that. It's almost like we that. We pointed it out from the very beginning, but it's like, it's funny how less obvious it is than I thought it than would be. Than you think, yeah. Or even yeah. like the the one where they're saying, you run around with a werewolf once a month. It's like, okay, they're talking to Peter about Remus, but either of them could be making fun of Peter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Three, two, one. Remus. I said Lupin. It is Lupin. Yes. Oh my gosh. Woo. Oh, okay. I needed that one, y'all. Skin on the old teeth is what they I'm say. I'm pretty sure this is after like he's doing his like almost lesson in the streaking shack. I suppose. <laughs> the streaking shack. Oh, what a classic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, people love streaking there. Yeah, and Hermione's like, you can't be. They make you register, and he's like, no, I'm not up to your usual standard at all, Hermione. Only one out of three. Something. Nice. Yeah. Oh man. Hopefully you didn't just give anything else away. Oh man, you're right. <laughs> like, Not to be all usual standard. <laughs> you, want, you want to list off any other known Remus Lupin quotes while we're at it? No. Quote number five. You are truly your father's son, Harry. Plot twist, it's Arthur Weasley. <laughs> Plot twist, it's basically anyone. <laughs> it's every single it's person every, that knew yeah, Harry's it's dad. everyone who knew him. So, so wait, read it again. You are truly your father's son, Harry. Oh my gosh. It's Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Who would have thought? Oh man. Where was Ewan McGregor in this world? Where was Ewan McGregor D doing in the, the wizarding world? Doing the the Star Wars prequels. Mm. Was that at the was, same time? He was, he was otherwise, yeah. otherwise disposed. Mm. Doing other like, magical things. Sorcerer's Stone came out in 2001, and Cl Attack of the Clones came out in 2002, oh. um, if well. I remember correctly. In my uh, mind, the Star Wars prequels came out way before the Harry Potter. I guess the Harry Potter movies continued to come out for a long time after the After 2005, stopped. yeah. 
yeah. I'm having one of those issues where I can't decide which scene I think this is, and I can't decide if I think it matters which scene it is. It seems like, it, the unfortunate thing about this quote is that it seems like the two people in question, both of them could have said it any number of times at various scenes. Okay, say, say, say the quote again. You are truly your father's son, Harry. I, have I like written, to think this is James. I have it written as you are. <laughs> <laughs> you are truly your father's son. Classic Jimmy Potts line. Classic Jimmy Potts. The, Jimmy popping out of the mirror like, hey, bud. Hey. You just like me for real. Jimmy. <laughs> well done. Way to be like me, son. <clears throat> Just that's that's my boy. Rustles his hair a little bit. Yeah, rustles yeah, his right, hair. Yeah. What do you say we go out back and throw the snitch back and forth? <laughs> <laughs> throw, throw the <laughs> snitch back and forth. It feels like you like let go of it and it would like just like <laughs> like oh man. Now I'm just imagining fathers and sons chucking quaffles at each other. Like, right. Yeah. And do wizards large. have the equivalent of catch? <laughs> Um, wow. They just throw bludgers at each other. They just throw bludgers, yeah. <laughs> Here, catch this cannonball. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I... Here, catch this cannonball. I'm, I, I'm like, I feel like I'm going to change my line. I'm not. I'm going to stick to it. All right. I'll just take a chance. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Serious. I said Lupin. It is serious. Yes! yes! I was going to change. I low-key almost put Peter on that one as like a, like, this is his response to Harry showing him mercy. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, that was like, see, this was what I thought. I thought that it was exiting the streaking shack when they are talking about sparing Peter's life. And yeah. it seemed more like Sirius really wanted to kill Peter. <laughs> yeah. And so it's like, it seemed more like Remus in this situation to be like, you really, like you really are doing the thing that your dad would have done. Yeah. Like, like much more like wisdom, whereas Sirius would have been more like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's like Sirius had a couple seconds to think about it and was like, yeah. Yeah. Way to go, Godson. But then, like later, he has that like that stinger. That's like I know. you're not quite as much like James as I thought. I know. It's like and it's like oh, dang serious. Don't give it away, Ben. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> you guys ready for another Quizmaster quote of the game? Yeah. yeah. This quote was submitted by Wesley Walker and Travis Peacock and voted on by patrons. The quote is, well, it's more the fact that he exists, if you know what I mean. Okay. 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 I think I got this one. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Jimmy Potts. It is Jimmy Potts. Yeah, it Jimmy is. Potts. Good old Jimmy. Again. The number both, 19 car. Both, both of his. <laughs> the number 19 car? Yeah. yeah. I mean, Jimmy Potts sounds like a NASCAR driver. Uh, that, that's, what, that's what James Potter's uh, self drawn comic of himself is. Is not him as a superhero. It's because he already has magic powers. It's him as a muggle. As an American <laughs> as muggle. An American muggle NASCAR, NASCAR driver. driver. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> him and somewhere Sirius is like, oh, uh, he's all into motorcycles. And him, he, Jimmy Potts, is all into fast cars. Yeah. He's, yeah. yeah. Doodling himself, drawing still or racing still alive, Dale Earnhardt. Right. Yeah, right. right, right yeah. Yes. <laughs> he's. He's just into NASCAR. That was what was on the walls of his room. Sirius had the motorcycles. James had the NASCAR. Right, right, right. right. <clears throat> That's how he was able to like live under the Fidelia's charm for so long. You just watch those NASCAR. Yeah, races. exactly. It's like I guess uh, this is what we're doing now. This is what we're doing. Lily's like, come on, dude. Classic toe rag. Quote number seven. Uh, well, this is kind of written as a question. When Snape tried to communicate with the writers of the Marauders map, who offered this insult? Blank bids Professor Snape a good day and advises him to wash his hair, the slime ball. <sighs> Do we use their marauder name? I mean, you can. Okay, but like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, I mean, I can parse back and forth. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> it's not written like that, but I do tend to know which one is which. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could you identify which marauder that is? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ready? Uh, yeah. One, two, three. Peter. Said Mooney. It is Peter. Yes! No! Clogging back! Here that is a go. That is a tie game after seven points. I do. Seven questions. I, this that, is one of my felt... favorite things about the, is like, I, I love that on the map, even though Peter is like one of the worst people ever, he, in the map, he is still a jerk to Snape in the same exact way that the other three are. Oh, right. It's like, yeah, they were friends. They were friends. Yeah, they were. They were. Yeah. They absolutely were. Yeah, Peter's... The thing I feel like that is so interesting about Peter, and I feel like like a detail that I don't like 
my brain doesn't grip onto enough is the fact that the main reason that he returns to Voldemort of all people is because of how afraid he is of uh, Lupin yeah, Sirius. and Sirius. Yeah. And it's just sort of like, that's the whole reason. Like, otherwise, because he could have just continued to be a rat. Right, yeah. I feel like the author probably had like a childhood friend who grew up to be like a window salesman and really annoyed her. A window salesman? Yeah, something like that. Like, you know, the people that like come around and knock on your doors and like oh, gotcha. offer you window treatments or like, you know, double glazing or whatever. Or that like orange based cleaner. Have you had that one? I haven't had that one. No, oh, man. It's like you can like drink it or something, but it like it also like will like take oil off like your sidewalk. Sure. What a classic. All right. And you can buy it now from Ben Carlin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so great time to really talk about today's sponsor, that orange stuff to clean your sidewalks. <laughs> today's sponsor, Omaha Steaks. You can buy them from me out of a truck in your driveway. <laughs> you overordered. Out Just count rates. Truck in your driveway. Quote number eight. When did I ever sneak around people who were stronger and more powerful than myself? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Serious Black. It is serious. Got that dog in him black. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh man. Uh, speaking of sponsors, though, I mean, you know, it does. It does not feel like the worst time in the world. I went half cursive, half regular. Wow. I'm going okay. streaking, guys. Oh wow. Oh hey guys, it's been a while. Let's get cozy, shall we? And there we. This is the new poison apple candle from our Royal Candle line over at Carlin Brothers Mercantile, and it is the newest in our monthly subscription. And I've got to tell you guys that it's scent notes of cranberry and apple marmalade smell amazing regardless of where it is in your room. Like here, for example, or right here. Here? No, that's too close to the box. Here. Ooh. Here's the thing about this candle that I love so very much is that it's not just like the design, which is absolutely beautiful, but also the, the scent itself just feels like the month of September. Like it's not quite fall yet, but it's still kind of giving those really cozy vibes. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Royal Candle Club line over at Carlin Brothers Mercantile, it's pretty simple. Each month we have a brand new candle, and if you're a subscriber, you get 25% off each candle as long as you sign up by September 30th of this year, and you'll get that 25% off for the remainder of the year. Now, we've had so much fun designing and curating these for each month of the year, with each one having its own theme, scent, and included inside of the candle itself is a unique charm that can't be found anywhere else. Again, guys, you can get 25% off each candle as long as you sign up for the subscription by September 30th, 2023, and that will last you through the end of the year of 2023, where we have a lot of really cool candles left to come. It's going to be carlinbrothersmercantile.com, Royal Candle Club. I will leave a link in the description down below. Guys, I'll be real with you. School has started. Work is getting busy. The holidays are right around the corner. You're probably probably looking for some just nice, easy, wholesome meals to go with your jam-packed schedule. Which is why I'm excited about today's sponsor, Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. They've got chef-prepared, dietitian approved meals delivered straight to your door. And Factor is great because it cuts out that extra trip to the grocery store, as well as the prepping and the chopping and the cleaning, all while still getting a really tasty meal with high nutritional quality. And it only takes two minutes to get ready. It's literally just heat and eat. And enjoy. Heat, eat, enjoy. And you definitely won't start getting bored with the meals either because they have over 34 different options to choose from. And you can like level them up with the gourmet plus option if you want, you know, get stuff like the broccolini, the leeks, the truffle butter. I mean, we're getting real fancy, y'all. And it's not just dinner. It can be lunch. It can be snacks. It can be on the go. You can get apple cinnamon pancakes or you can get bacon and cheddar egg bites. And personally, I would just encourage you to experiment with all sorts of different stuff because everything I've tried has been like super good. And they're really sustainable. They offset 100% of delivery emissions, source 100% renewable electricity for production sites and offices, and feature sustainably sourced seafood on their menus. So enjoy eating without all the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh flavor-packed meals delivered straight to your door, ready in two minutes, no prep, no mess. And of course, we have a great offer for you. You can head to factormeals.com slash jverseb50 and use promo code jverseb50 to get 50% off your first order. One more time, that is code jverseb50 at factormeals.com slash jverseb50 
first beat 50 to get 50% off your first order. Link is in the description down below. What are the odds you'll do the scenic route fully nude? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I hope your Man. sponsor read was me undies. Oh boy. <laughs> it was chilly out there. <laughs> you guys ready for the third Quizmaster quote of the game? I'm ready for oh, it. Oh yeah. This quote was submitted by Helena Shaw and voted on by patrons. I was happier than I had ever been in my life. For the first time ever, I had friends. Three great friends. Bit of a softball. I think so. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. One, two. Three. It is Remus Lupin. Ah, the werewolf. Indeed. The werewolf. The grandilos. The grandilos. The grandilos. <laughs> yeah, that was an easy one. That okay. was, yeah, we, that, got, that we got, got it. Sure. Thanks, that Helena. Was, yeah, now we appreciate it. Quote number 10. I am a faithful servant. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, who else would? Right, I know. One, two, three. Peter? Wormtail. Peter. It is indeed Peter Pettigrew. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, it okay. is. Yeah, it was like. Of course. I was like, I don't know when else anyone would say this. Um, James so. is a is a faithful servant to the number 19 card. <laughs> That's right. Jimmy Potts. Jimmy Potts. <laughs> <laughs> is our rival, Petey the Rat. Yeah, <laughs> Petey the Rat. <laughs> Quote number 11. That suggests that what you fear most of all is fear. Very wise, Harry. Oh yeah, I think I got this one. Okay. Yeah, I feel like Ain't this- no doubt. This is like one of the more famous lines. <laughs> yeah, this is this is uh, a line that actually I have lately been thinking it'd be fun to make an entire video about, but mm. like, why is it so wise to specifically fear fear itself? Oh, what well, makes yeah, that what's wise? What's so wisdomical about it? What's so wisdomical? Yeah. Exactly. All right, ready? One, two, three. Lupin. Lupin. It is Lupin. That is. Well, I'm very impressed. That suggests that what you fear the most is fear itself. This is very wise. Now it's time for the fourth Quizmaster quote of the game. This quote was submitted by Law Ninja and voted on by patrons. The quote is: Voldemort doesn't march up to people's houses and bang on their front doors. Boy, I'm in real coin flip territory again here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Man, Harry Potter would be a real different movie if he knocked on the door before <laughs> <laughs> Hello! I've just got some cut co knives out here. <laughs> oh, man. My name's Tommy Riddles. <laughs> Tommy Riddles. Tommy Riddles. Oh, no. <laughs> Riddle me this. Have you ever needed to cut through a shoe? Tommy Riddles, always with the riddles. Yeah. <laughs> What's on the ground and covered in blood? <laughs> you! <laughs> Boo! Boo! Just um. kidding, Ivana could not release that trace. Except for uh, that one kid. Which one kid? Harry Potter. Oh, yeah, sorry. You know, the, the, yeah, the boy who lived? That hasn't happened yet oh. in my head. <laughs> yeah. In this moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he picks it back up. Tommy Riddles is knocking on uh, Jimmy <laughs> Potts' door. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Oh man. Candy grab! <laughs> Candy, Candy grab. Uh, boy, all right, let me think. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking about uh, thinking about him delivering an edible arrangement. <laughs> uh, I think this is it. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Serious? Said Lupin. It is serious. Yes! No! It had to be one of two. It had to Here be one of two. Here we go. Here we go. That is Jay taking the lead. Yeah, Boom! We knew it was going to happen. Oh, yeah. This it's is coming why, down to the fourth quarter, y'all. This is why you don't get cocky, kid. It is 10 to 9 with three questions to go. Oh, okay. okay. Quote number 13. If you want to know what a man's like, take a look at how he treats his inferiors, not his equals. I know. You know? I feel confident. You're positive? I put, I'm, I am, I am positive. I'll put my, my, my certainty stamp of approval on it. <laughs> this is... You know, that big rubber stamp that you keep stamping all over the iPad, even yeah, though well, we yes, asked you yes, not so. to. <laughs> Fun fact about me, I always have big rubber stamps on me, just in case. You ready? I think so. 
Okay. One. So, wait. Oh. Let me let me double let me double think about it. Sometimes I don't like when you double think about it because you have brain blasts. So I like, I'm to, just I like, like to usher you into <laughs> turning. This is like my only chance. I need to play the mental game here. Keep talking. Distract him. One, 13, 29, 157. Okay. I got it. Yeah. Do you For got sure. it? I Three, think two, so. one. It's serious. It's serious. It is serious. Okay. Yes. I'm pretty sure he's talking about Barty Crouch. I accidentally yes. scrolled up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But okay, so what was throwing me off about this is how poorly serious Street's creature. It's like, oh, why don't you take a look in the mirror, bro? Yeah. He'd be like, Hi, James. Serious oh, Black. Oh, man. <laughs> Serious Black, a hypocrite. That was a really Never. dark joke. That was a really dark joke. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> Question number 14. The quote is, until the very end. Until the very end? Until the very end. <laughs> what kind of quote is that? That That's is... the last one that Pottermore came up with, or whatever it's called. Okay. Until the very end. Until the very end. There's a period at the end of that, if that helps. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is it. Okay. Yeah. Sticking with. Until... If you want to win this, Ben, this is a must get. I know. Man. <clears throat> I mean... All right, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. James. I said loopsters. It is James. Boom, Jimmy Potts! This is what he says to him before he goes to, into the forest when he talks to the vault. So, like, the final conversation, like, will you stay with me? It's like, until the very end. Until the very end of the Daytona 500. <laughs> yeah. Until the very end. Which I am currently DVRing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's what Jimmy Potts says to Dale Earnhardt. Uh, until the very end. In the films, they have such high profile actors playing Sirius and Lupin because they have big roles. Yeah. That like Harry's own father is playing a shockingly small yeah. like mm -hmm. role in, in that, that piece of guidance. Right. He's just sort of like there and, and smiling. That's what they'll get Daniel Radcliffe <clears throat> to come back and do when, when in, in the TV series. They'll just sort of be there just like, hi. Hi, it's me, I'm James Potter now. I have very few lines. Very few lines. Everyone knows what I'm doing here. Everyone I, gets it. I get to stand this in a mirror. This is called fan service. And then I get to come out of a wand. And then I get to come out of a rock. Okay. <laughs> Do you think it would be better for there to be fan service or no fan service? Oh, no. I think it would be better for there to be fan service. Okay. Yeah. All right. I want to see it. This is the final <laughs> question, the final Quizmaster quote of the game, submitted by Kelsey and voted on by patrons. All right. And the quote is, wash out your mouth. Wash out your mouth? Wash out your mouth, exclamation wash, point. Wash out your mouth? Wash out, wash out your mouth, exclamation point. Wash out your mouth, exclamation I think I know. You think you got it? I think I know. Okay. I think I know. Um, Let me see. Wash out your mouth. Oh man, I feel bad for the roller coaster ride I've, I've led people on. I mean, what? Say. Who? Okay, why would why would that character say it? Why would they? <clears throat> I don't feel like that makes sense. I I don't have a clue what context this is in. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know you. why that character would say. I have to. I think it's just here. I think I know. Oh it. wait, <sighs> you remember? It's actually the mirror in the Leaky Cauldron. <laughs> yeah. Right. One of these had to be a trick question, right? <laughs> Tuck in your shirt, Scruffy. Is that the one? Is it the mirror at the least? <clears throat> yeah, okay. yeah, okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. James. James. It is indeed James <laughs> Potter. <laughs> this is when he's talking to Siri, or to Snape, right? He's when he's talking, yeah, I think yeah. he does like Scourgeify and like soap bubbles come out of Snape's yeah. mouth. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Which yes, is like yes. one of those things where I'm like, God, that, that's mean. <laughs> James might not have been a great dude, if well, I'm being yeah. honest with you. I, I don't really, really in the high school. <clears throat> I don't even think the story goes to extraordinary lengths to truly attempt to redeem James anyway, though. It's no. really more about Lily when it comes down to it. It's more like, it just seems like a lot of, but a lot of what you know about him in high school is simply how he treated Snape in particular. Yeah. And it seems like everyone else, he was like the world's best friend to. The world's best friend. <clears throat> so. Yeah, it, it's complicated. Say. Of course, nobody wants to be held to their high school version of themselves either. Right. You know, we're all yeah. just learning. We're just learning. We're just doing our best, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, how'd you guys do? Did you beat us? Did you beat me? Okay. Someone's house actually probably, probably someone did. Someone got like perfect score out there. They know the Marauders quotes. 
And now we need to give a huge thank you to these quiz masters who support us over on Patreon. Big shout out to Sarah Makiyama, Tara Noah, Kristen Hannah Gear, Wesley Walker, Travis Peacock, Helena Shaw, Law Ninja, and Kelsey. As ever, if you would like to try to stump us in a future episode of J vs. Ben, you can do so by heading over to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and selecting the Quizmasters tier. Thanks again to all of our Quizmasters over on Patreon. Who's, do you, who's, who's your favorite marauder? Don't say Peter. <laughs> Who would say Peter? Nobody. No, yeah, the <laughs> only correct answers are Remus or Sirius. I've always felt like you're more Remus and I'm more serious. Oh, well. Due yeah. to my, my barking laugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all know how I do laugh at jokes. <laughs> Remus is indeed my favorite marauder. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, Remus is really great. He's a great teacher. I would, I would love to have seen a, a, uh, a year of school where Sirius is the defense against the dark arts teacher because oh. I feel like he would have been like Remus, except like more like Moody, you know, right, like kind of yeah. like bridging those two gaps. Oh my gosh, they could have done. They could like if they if there was a situation where they allowed like like Peter to actually get caught and Sirius's name to get cleared then, and then like Sirius was the teacher next year, but then it was actually Barty Crouch Jr. Oh, right. You know, yeah. like you'd be, you'd be so like, oh, we had Sirius all wrong last book. And now look at him. He's so like aggressive and different. And like, he's teaching Harry the real stuff. And you're like, oh man, actually this time he was the bad guy. Cause he wasn't the bad guy. Yeah. Out of prison and back in the trunk. Wow. What a terrible life. That could have been the name of it. Through out the of, veil. Out of prison and into the trunk. And then the whole book, you'd be like, why is it called that? Yeah. <laughs> Harry Potter <laughs> had the out of the prison and into the trunk. And you'd be like, weird. It's like, it's the whole Triwizard Tournament. <clears throat> Do you think Goblet of Fire is the correct name? Or should it have been Harry Potter and the Triwizard Tournament? Um, I think Goblet of Fire is the right name. Okay. Yeah. I've wondered about it before, but like it really, like the, the why his name came out of the Goblet is the prevailing mystery Throughout, throughout. Okay. I mean, it's the worst name of all seven of them, but like, what else could you name it? Right, it could have been, yeah, and the Triwizard Tournament, I guess. Harry Potter and the Giant Bag of Mr. X. Harry Potter and the Ziggler Yes, that's, so we'll leave it on that one. I guess that's our other question of the day. What else would you have named Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? Be sure to let us know. Otherwise, guys, as ever, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to like this video if you haven't already and subscribe so you don't miss any future J versus Ben action. Otherwise, until next time, bye. bye.